Hey guys, it's Darcy Simmer and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another creative pet for you guys. I haven't really done too many creative pets in The Sims 4. I've done quite a bit in The Sims 3. Um, I just I haven't really got used to the controls and everything. So I really wanted to try and mess around with quite a few of the options in this one. Because in the ones before, I already knew what I was going for. So uh, I've really only done uh, my real dog, which there's already a base Yorkie that I could use for him so I really didn't need to do too much to him and then I've only done two fox cubs and you know they were just cubs so um there weren't very many details that went into them so I decided to do a creative pet because I haven't had a chance to mess around with any of the pet controls or anything and the painting so yeah that's what I wanted to do but uh yeah now I'm just looking at some different furs because I kind of wanted it to be kind of fluffy but not too fluffy but um yeah, I do change his fur, um, texture, is that what it's called? Probably, I don't know, fur type, fur texture, um, at the end of the video. So, yeah, this isn't the final version of him, but, uh, yeah, I just used, um, I think three colors on this dog, and it's this, a uh, light brown color, this, uh, cream color, and then I use a darker brown later on, but, um, uh, yeah, I think he turned out pretty cool. Um, I keep saying he, I'm pretty sure it's a female. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I, I might have just been dreaming that, honestly. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, I know in the tags it says male dog, and I wanted it to be a male dog, but I'm not sure if I made it a male or not. But I also remember looking to see if it was male or female, and it was a female. But honestly, I could have just been dreaming that. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> I can't remember if it's a male or female dog, but, um, you know, if you want to add it to your family, you can make it whatever you want, so it doesn't really matter. Most people probably do that anyway to change its name, but, um, I did name it Silas. I think I already said that. I'm not sure that's its name on the gallery as well, so I will put a link in the description if you guys would like to download this doggy. And, uh, yeah, I keep, um, forgetting to turn the mirror painting back on whenever I was doing some of the, um, details and stuff, so... Uh, yeah, I apologize for that, but, uh, yeah, this one took, uh, quite a bit of time compared to the other ones, because, like I said, I actually wanted to try and mess around with some of the tools and everything. Um, I didn't want the colors to be as sharp as they turned out, and, but they were, so I tried to go back in at the end and, like, make the colors a little bit softer and stuff on the detailed areas, but then it just kind of ended up looking muddy, so I had to go back over them. So, uh, yeah, you'll see that at the end of the video. This is a pretty short video anyway. It's only six minutes. At least that's what my, um, editing program says. But there's screenshots at the end, and this dog is so cute, especially in the screenshots, but I think it's just the color edit, um, that I added. The, um, curves that I changed in Gimp. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I like the screenshots. They made me very happy. But, uh, yeah. I didn't get a chance to play the dog in-game, but... He looks very pretty and I'm very happy with him and I would definitely use him in my game and I think I want to do some more um, creative pets in The Sims 4 because I, I do really like creating pets and I know I've done a lot in The Sims 3. I've done quite a bit. I've done a lot of horses, cats, and dogs. Um, probably mostly horses and dogs. Uh, I don't think I've ever really done too many cats honestly but uh, yeah I'd like to but I really like to make colorful pets and on the sims 3 like way back in the day i used to make really colorful pets um like i had this bathing suit that was like a teal chartreuse and a blue color and had like a leopard print design over it in black and i made a dog that matched that i'll put a link to him in the description i didn't make a video of him it was a really long time ago before i ever started a youtube channel it was like probably five years ago maybe but um, he's my favorite dog I ever created in The Sims 3. So, uh, yeah, I'll link to him in the description if you guys would like to download him. He's on The Sims 3 Studio. But, uh, yeah, I uploaded him to, um, a, a fan website that I created with, um, a friend of mine a long time ago. It was years ago, honestly. I, I don't remember how many years ago exactly, but we had, like, this little store that you could use, um, a currency that you made on the site by posting and stuff. And we had, like, this little store where you could, um, purchase, in air quotes, um, 
like some stuff that the staff of the site made and it was pretty cool but uh yeah that, that that's not what this video is about this video is about this doggy he's very cute and i was trying to give him like i guess kind of like an eyeliner look around the eyes and that didn't work out so i just ended up making him look like a panda but uh yeah i like him his eyes are cute he's adorable i wasn't going to give him two different colored eyes at first but then I decided to go ahead and give him two different colored eyes. I wish um, his eyes could have been like a, a purpley color, but um, yeah, it wasn't an option. I don't know if you can color his eyes. I know you can color his nose and stuff, but I don't think you can color their eyes. I'm not sure. I haven't tried. Hmm. I wonder. You probably can't though, right? I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is what I was talking about. I was going in and try to soften the colors a little bit, like the edges and... Yeah, I just didn't take as much time as I probably should have to do that, and it just ended up looking kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, that's the fur I decided to go with. I do try to mess around with a few more because I wasn't finding exactly what I wanted. I wanted him to have, like, a fluffier face than a body, but, uh, yeah, I just couldn't find the option for that. But here are the screenshots. Um, like I said, he's on my gallery. I'll put a link in the description if you would like to download. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!